Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. So this morning on my nine o'clock show, Ham Church, unofficially called, T.O. and I tested some of these, the Baofeng Mini UV5R. And we looked at two of them on the spectrum analyzer, and we're going to look at them here in a second. And we said, oh my goodness, they're clean. It's fabulous. So we've seen a bunch of clean ones of these. Some people have seen dirty ones. You know, is it a bad test or not? You never know, right? If you have one clock, you always know exactly what time it is. If you have two, you're never quite sure. It's the same with multiple people testing multiple radios. The sample size is not tremendous, 10 or 20 of these things amongst all the various YouTubers. So long story short, I screwed up this morning and did not have the spectrum analyzer set up correctly. So our tests this morning were completely invalid. I mean, they were wrong as wrong could be. Either I made a typo or didn't remember how much attenuation was supposed to be in my attenuator, the cell wave, because I had 40 dB of attenuation set on the spectrum analyzer to account for the attenuator and to protect the spectrum analyzer. That's what the attenuator does. And it's actually 50 dB of attenuation on that on that cell wave attenuator, 50. At 146.52, it is 50 dB, 49.8 of attenuation. And I had the spectrum analyzer set for 40, so all our results were wrong. And I mean, not in the neighborhood of correct. So without further ado, we're gonna hook up two different Baofeng UV5R minis to the spectrum analyzer, which has been correctly set, and take a look at what what they actually are. Also, I want to throw a shout out to Christopher VK4DL because he eyeballed the screen at two o'clock in the morning Oz time and figured out that my math was not working out. So good on you, brother, for mathing like that at two o'clock in the morning. I can't math like that at nine o'clock in the morning. Without further ado, let's pop over and look at Spectrum Analyzer. Right. So we have one of the radios already hooked up. And I've got this radio on now, and it is on low power, I believe. And we're just going to test it on high power and be done with it. Okay, so this should be about 5 watts. Here we go. I've got our resolution bandwidth set down pretty low to 30 kilohertz, so that's why this sweep is taking so long. And if you look in the upper right corner there, the yellow text shows our output fundamental power level of 36.8 dBm, which is just about five watts. And then the four numbers below it are where our harmonics are and how many dBm they are below the fundamental frequency of 146.52. And you can see that they are all more than 43 dB below the fundamental, which is a good thing, right? Aces. But if you look at the red line down there, about halfway down the screen, you'll see that number two and number five are poaching the red line. So that is more than 25 microwatts or minus 16.02 dBm. So this radio is a fail. It does not meet the criteria. Now, that being said, it looks like about 12 dBm for both of them, maybe 11, 13, somewhere in that neighborhood, which is a pretty low power level, but that does not meet CFR 47 part 97 307E, which is the regulation that states what these radios should be. So that is a fail. All right, let me fasten the other radio up and let's see what we got. All right, radio number one is out. Radio number two is in. You can't see it too well because it's wired to the spectrum analyzer. All right, keying up right now. Let's see what we got. Our fundamental at 36.76, which is almost 37 dBm, which is five watts-ish. And you can see that our harmonics over here in the upper right-hand corner are minus 55, minus 62, minus 57, and minus 49 dB below our fundamental, which is here. But you can see that they're poaching the red line, number two and number five. Number five is definitely over it. Number two is sitting on top of it. So this is a fail. Number five is at 586 megahertz. So I'm not sure what's up there. That's past public safety band. But it is, uh, it is more than minus 16.02 dBm. 
And number two is right at the line or slightly below it. Uh, you can see, where'd my mouse go? You can see right there, it is just slightly below it. So that alone makes it a fail. There's two criteria. It has to be 43 dB below the fundamental, which they are, because these numbers are relative to this number. But it also is supposed to be no more than negative 16.02 dBm or 25 microwatts, and that is more than that. So let's go back and look at our other radio real quick one more time and then double check what we've got on it again. Okay, so the reason I went back to do the first radio again is I thought this was above the line, and it is. So between this sample of two, and these came together in a two-pack for about $35, there's a little bit of inconsistency here with the innards. Because on this setup, you can see here that the second harmonic and the fifth are both over the minus 16.02 line. That's this red line right here. So when I have the right numbers in, you can tell that um, it's a fail. And they both are indeed. So I have to agree with Smoke and Ape. The one he has is certainly a fail, and he's shown that multiple times. And these two that I just bought off of Amazon Wednesday, they literally got to my house yesterday on Saturday, also a fail. So you pay your money, you take your chances with the Baofeng Mini. Okay, guys, that's all I'm going to have in this video. I just wanted to make a fairly quick follow-up to explain that I screwed up on the live stream this morning, and I wanted to make sure everybody got the correct info. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great one, 73.